Fellas, I know that you watch every video on the channel. You do, right? And you might have seen a few days ago that we put out a video about the worst Smash tournament of all time, Olympus 2016. But it's actually a lie. You got clickbaited. That's not the worst tournament of all time because I went to the worst tournament of all time and I know everything about it. May I introduce you to Apex 2015? I could have this really long intro. I could tell you everything about this, but turn down for Walt. A Melee YouTuber has done it expertly for me. This video is an excellent retelling of the whole tournament. Now, there's a lot of Melee stuff in here. I know it's embarrassing, but we're really going to focus on the beginning, on what it was like to actually be there. Listen, Apex 2015 was one of the most insane weekends of my life. So, we're going to take a look at this one. Lord knows, uh, I, 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 it'll be good to go back to. Something can go wrong, it will. Nothing epitomizes this more than the story of Apex 2015. That was such a dry intro. Yeah, that's true. That's correct. What they just said. I wish I could say I was 100% surprised. There was already a foreboding feeling going into it. The Apex Tournament Series was an annual esports event with focus on the Super Smash Bros. game. Is the quality bad or is... No, I'm at 1440p60. That's just the logo. Man. The series would see increased attendance over the years with numbers coming to an impressive head at Apex 2015. Yeah, so back then, this was the only tournament we had year after year, at least for Brawl and then like a lot of the time for Melee. There was one event a year. We had no Evo, we had no Genesis, I mean Melee had Genesis sometimes, which is crazy to think about because Smash 4 had events every single weekend, sometimes several on the same weekend. It was nonsense. Previously nicknamed the Super Bowl of Smash Bros by Grantland writer Ben Lindbergh. Which is so stupid. This event sucked. And thanks in part to winning a spot at Evolution 2013, as well as independent filmmaker Travis Samox Beauchamp's The Smash Brothers, the competitive melee scene had been thriving. Are any of you guys uh, dot kids? Probably, right? Man, that's crazy. I've said this on a previous stream, but it always just feels like I, I, I have this idea that you guys know everything about the scene and what it was like. It also served as the first ever major to the newly released Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Yeah, this was the first Smash 4 event. It was a big deal. The tournament would come off the back of the 2014 to 2015 Apex World Circuit sponsored by Twitch. A series of 14 we qualifier events circuit? featuring a $1,000 prize bonus and complimentary flight for each of the winners. I didn't know that. The circuit qualifiers would take place <laughs> all over the world. I guess that was for Florida Melee. To California, <laughs> I didn't know to that. Canada, to Japan, Man, and a group of 16 we're all learning, players yeah. Would earn their Melee gets all the cool shit, yeah. What's more important than all of that at the time, though, was Dude. Apex's official partnership with Nintendo of America. Yeah. The first of its kind for the Melee scene. This was such a big deal. You guys, this was like this was insane. When we found out that they had the partnership, it felt like the world was totally opened up. It was nuts. And what did we get? Splatoon demos. I think we got Splatoon demos and some commercials. But I did get to play Splatoon before anyone else. And I won my first match ever. I might have been the first person to ever win in Splatoon. I mean, it's still cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. And especially for back then, 2015 was like... This was before all this stuff now, so having Splatoon demos was, like, amazing. It's just funny to look back in retrospect and be like, huh. With all of these exciting things taking shape, you probably wouldn't think that the Apex series was also a complete and utter shit show. Every uh, year! You know it's gonna suck. Like, every year it's gonna suck. Every uh, year! But you're gonna go, because it is the biggest tournament. You have to go! So Apex was always run like a shit show? And the guy that ran it didn't do any work ever. Like, it was sort of known and understood that the guy that ran it was just, like, the figurehead of it. But he was, he just, a lot of people did all the work, right? Definitely <laughs> off to a rocky start, and unfortunately, it, it gets only gets worse. worse. It only gets worse. Dude. So, I don't know if they're going to talk about it. So... This is in Secaucus, New Jersey. I'm in Maryland, right? I drive three hours up to Jersey to go to Apex. I'm so excited. I think I drove alone. So I get to the building. I walk into the ballroom where people are setting up because Gimmer, VGBC, they always try to set up stuff before the tournament. And I walk in and I look around and I'm like, wow, this is small. What's going to happen here? How is this going to work? Immediately, Gimmer walks over to me. He's like, there's no way Apex is happening. What? 
What do you mean Apex isn't happening? Apex has to happen. Apex happens every year. It's the Super Bowl of Smash. Gamer's like, this is not happening. There's no way. There's no space here. Uh, the fire marshal will only let like 800 people in this room and there's over a thousand people that are supposed to be here. Uh, the carpets are moldy. There's no internet. Everything sucks. And the hotel itself is ratty. I got told literally upon walking in, this is not going to be good. And I think the day after, the garage collapsed. It was the day before. Okay. Yeah, I had nowhere to park. There is nowhere to park. The ceiling of the parking garage blew up. So all of us were like parking in the street. It was so bad. I don't know how in depth this video is gonna go, but I have stories about this. I'm gonna wait to hear it. Snow may be to blame for the partial collapse of a parking garage in New Jersey. My car, you might be able to see my car. I was like right here. No joke, my Dodge Charger right here. There, there's like one whole hallway that's just tarped off basically. Yeah. Um, and yeah. if you poke your head around it, you're kind of seeing some debris. The place was a disaster. The Clarion Hotel Empire Meadowlands told organizers that Apex was still good to go. Man. The confidence to be able to do this. By the way, look at how small this was. 38 retweets for the biggest tournament of the year. Man, different time. Jumping ahead to Friday, January 31st. This was the room. This was the room they were setting up in. I'll never forget walking into this room. The smell of mildew and mold wafting into my nostrils and Gimmer walking up to me, telling me the event was off. Man. At 8.50 a.m., 10 minutes before pools are set to begin, the fire alarm is pulled. I was actually running off my hotspot because the internet still, they never fixed it. So eventually someone's like, yo, I think this event's gonna get shut down. The fire marshal's here. I was like, huh? So again, I don't know how much this is going to go into it, but I was in the ballroom five minutes before the tournament was gonna start. My pool was be being called for Smash 4. And uh, somebody pulls the smoke alarm and everybody goes outside. And everybody's like, what the fuck is this? And then when everybody goes back inside, we're all told the tournament is off. Because the fire marshals here is there's way too many people in this building. We leave, we come back in, and now we can't go to the tournament anymore. What happened to make the fire alarm go off? There are a bunch of different stories. The one that I've heard is that people were hot boxing in a room. There was a towel put up on one of the sprinklers, I think, and it set off the alarm. I think that was it. I don't know if that's true. I've also heard that there was some kind of fight, like a play fight, like wrestling, you know, maybe a pillow fight. I don't know what smashers do. I have no idea how much of this is true. Something happened and the fire alarm got pulled and the marshal came and he said, this tournament is off. The show has and there he is. Everyone must vacate the premises immediately. I was in this room. Dude really said the show has been canceled. He really did say that. I remember that. The show, the show's over. By the way, all these kids sitting down don't believe this. They're like, fuck you. We're still playing in a tournament. Literally, nobody took this seriously. It was Smash Culture at that time to just be like, ah, eh, we'll make do. The face of pure regret. <laughs> no, it's not. This is the face of, I'm playing in tournament. This is the first Smash 4 tournament I've been practicing for weeks. I don't give a shit what this pig says. He's probably tweeting about how dumb that guy looks right now. Homie's really a cop wearing a tie? Get it together. It quickly becomes apparent that the hotel was not fit to host an event, period. It was not. In fact, one of the ballrooms was at risk of collapsing just the same as the parking garage outside did just a few days prior. Yes. Donnelly, the Secaucus mayor, informed NewJersey.com that multiple vehicles were parked in the fire lanes in front of the Clarion, me! presumably me! due to the damage That's to the parking me! garage. That's me! I did that. Ran. To clarify, yes, the roof collapsed. It was not a series of unfortunate events. If the roof didn't collapse, the event still wouldn't have been able to run. The entire venue <laughs> for pretty obvious reasons and to put oh, a I'm in there on top, somewhere. the venue would be deemed completely unusable for the tournament. I'm with somewhere Apex in there. <laughs> because of that, I do empathize with the TOs because like they did their best to keep up with the growth, but unfortunately the venue just kind of like had no business being home to a 1500, 1600 person event. It's money. That's it. It's money. That venue was horrendous. And you always know Apex is going to suck, like they said. Apex always sucks, year after year. But that's what we're used to. But that was, like, excruciating. Just like that, poof. Apex was over before it even started. Man. But as Dennis Watley once said, expect the best, plan for the worst, and prepare to be surprised. The hero of this whole event, the guy who deserves the most credit by far, 
uh, JT Gleason, after being basically bombarded with like, we need help. He's like, okay, let me talk to some people, right? So this room was put together for a bunch of TOs, influencers, not even influencers, actually. I'll get to that in a second. But a bunch of people who actually do work, right? Figureheads. Like TOs, people making the calls, people putting stuff together. Smash has a lot of people who want to be in the room, but they don't want to do anything. Like, it's there's a lot of people who want the status of it. And I remember so many fucking people begging to be in this room. And they just wanted to sit on their phones. They wanted to sit in the corner, sit on their phones, and tweet about what was happening. Yo, we're going to this place, because you get the likes, right? Already, there's probably, like, double the people needed in this room. And it only got worse. There's a lot of people who, uh, who just... It's homie code, dude. Oh, you're in that room? Bro, get me in there. I want to be a part of it. This room smells? Yeah, but it's not the Smashers. The room smells like mildew. Keep up. That's what I just said. This whole tournament stinks. Within a few hours, Apex staff. That's way too many people. What the fuck is EE -E doing in this room? They're here. What are you going to provide here, EE? -E? What the fuck are you doing here? Hmm? What did I just say? What did I just say about people trying to get in the room? There he is. He's just chilling in the back. He's vibing. He's actually out here just, man. I, maybe EE -E 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 was instrumental in Apex 2015 happening. I don't know. A certain upgrade in venue quality, especially given the tense situation, but still a venue that was almost 40 miles away from the original location. Dude, what we found out yeah. Is the Garden State Convention Center would take our call. Basically, Twitch paid for this new venue, which was 45 minutes away, or 40 miles away, so it was like an hour and a half. And everybody was like, how the fuck are we gonna get everybody there? And not only that, you have to move the entire venue of people 40 miles away, but you lose a day. You lose a day of the tournament. It's a three-day tournament. You're running out of time. How are you going to make up for it? That is the miracle of Apex 2015. By 4.30 that afternoon, volunteers and attendees alike were supporting to move game setups and heavy CRT televisions, all while staff looked to keep everyone informed of the change in scenery. That's EE's job. He's the influencer. Okay, my bad, my bad. There he goes. They were like the venue was still like putting power down and stuff so i was just like it's gonna be a long night i forgot about this part too yeah that's a good point not only do you lose a day people flew in from across the country across the world i know people from the uk who went yeah yeah yeah. this is you guys gotta understand apex was the only tournament really of the year that would be this big so people would come in from all over the globe to go to this and for this to happen is a it's nuts run a tournament scheduled for three days in two. Which is hard. Very hard. All of that would have gone out the window. <laughs> Junebug and Seagull Joe teaming. Man. Look at that. Look at these two. DeBuzz and Denti? Double Olimar? I'm gonna vomit. Disgusting. Genesis would not be what it is today if things hadn't gone down. Smash GG as a concept became a thing at Apex 2015. I think overall it actually worked out in everybody's favor. Not everybody. The hotel owner got dicked dude imagine you run a corrupt hotel right like your hotel is decrepit and condemned and it's shitty and you're still running a tournament because pay out right you're trying to make some money and then some asshole hot boxes your room throws a towel on the sprinkler and then the cops show up and you're like son of a bitch i, I almost got away with it a lot of different successes in the last few years in the yeah. smash community can be attributed to the challenges that we had to overcome stemming from Apex 2015. Also, like, this is when, uh, this is the chif- chiffin. This is the chillin' leffin' match. This is the biggest salty sweet in history. I actually have a story about that. I was walking around the venue, and, uh, I think I had to get something from Gimmer's room. So, Gimmer's like, hey, can you go get this from my room? I'm like, yeah, give me your room key. I go get the room key. I go upstairs, go to the VG room. And the VG room is like, they have a lot of streaming stuff in there. Inside, I don't expect to see anybody. I expect this room to be empty because everybody's in the venue. But no, inside is Papa Paint along with Chillin' Dude. And Chillin' is standing there rapping in front of a green screen. I got to walk into the room when he was recording Respect Your Elders. I was there in the room. History was made right before my eyes. That room smelled dank as hell. 
I got a contact high just walking in. As soon as my card went into the thing, it came back smoky. It came back with a vapor. But you know what? We all had fun. And I was like, what are you guys doing? And Chillin's just like, oh, I'm just recording something. I was like, you do that. This, uh, this tournament, so many things can really trace back to this. But I think this Salty Sweet in particular was such a big deal, dude. This kind of setup was insane. This crowd in 2015 is unprecedented. It's unheard of. Okay, the rest of the video is about the tournament. But what I will tell you, this was the first tournament where I met Void. Void was a young nobody from Hawaii. I was teaming with my friend Meek, Meek Speedy. I'm Ness in Smash 4, and we don't know how strong these characters are. They just came out. I just know DDD sucks. And we sit down to play a guy named Korean and a guy named Void. And we don't know who they are. Void locks in Sheik. We start the match, and I can't touch this fucking Sheik. He's so oppressive, and it's pissing me off. I was good at Brawl, and I was good at PM. So for me to just get run over by some asshole I've never met, I don't even know his name, I'm like, what the fuck is up with this guy? So I go to Meek, and I'm like, double team Fox. Double team Fox, you have to take Sheik. I can't do anything here. And so we start beating the hell out of Korean. And then Void is killing me at like 30, 40, gimping me with needles. But we beat the hell out of Korean. We destroyed that fox, and we ended up winning the set. So my set total with Void is currently 1-0. Yep, it's true. I have a 100% win rate against Void. Perfect. Yep. Oh, I forgot. We played in singles once. Never mind. We played, we played in singles at Esports Arena. But I did take a game. I lost, but it was 3-1, so pretty good. 3-1, it was close, though. It actually was. Would you believe me if I told you it was? No? Okay. I hate you guys. I, uh, I, uh, chant, yes, please. Support your streamer. Anyway, Apex 2015 was an absolute shit show all the way through. The tournament was non-functional at the beginning, and we had to move everywhere to actually get anything done. Apex 2015 is by far the worst tournament of all time. No question. So we're going to go ahead and skip to the end where everybody is talking about how cool it is that Melee lived. I mean, how does the Smash scene always find a way? How is it humanly possible for this community to make the most out of a completely terrible situation? Man, this is so optimistic. This is such an optimistic viewpoint and i'm happy we have it we need people like this they do forget that it still ended at 3 a.m since sunday's schedule went terribly true the fact that i forgot the about that so long i think it's like two plus a.m that shit Everyone was stayed. mad late like, but the room was we were the packed like listen we're making a lot of jokes but sincerely this tournament was the worst shit i've ever been to that turned into one of the most landmark tournaments of all time this tournament was an absolute shit show and yet now it will always be fondly remembered as the genesis in a lot of ways of Melee as we know it today. There's a lot of stuff in the middle that I glazed over because this is an entire tournament's worth of content and storylines. And there's so much here. Please check it out. Turn down for Walt. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to this channel first though because you're already here. And remember me and my tales at the worst tournament of all time. It is so sad that we can't have any tournament like this for our game time for you to do something about it what the fuck am i gonna do am i gonna run a tournament no i'm an influencer i'm the guy begging to be in the room when people fix it collapse the roof of the next major i'm just standing on top of it just stomping on the on the ceiling i'm making history we need a magic tournament he thinks he's an influencer i would think it would be pretty influential if i collapsed a building of a national tournament might influence some people to go elsewhere might influence the police to show up. The person that pulled the fire alarm is the greatest influencer. He influenced everybody out of that fucking building. Good for them.